So, you just got your SteelSeries Arctis 5. You're probably wondering, what can I do with this headset and how do I set it up? I'm here to show you exactly how to do that and how to play around with one of the coolest features in the Arctis 5, which is the RGB settings. So let's get on to the video and I'll show you how. Hey everyone, this is Or from Wicked Cushions with another video for you. And today I'm going to show you how to set up your Arctis 5 and start playing. Before I start, I please ask you to like this video and subscribe to our channel only if you like this video. If you don't, troll me in the comment section below. I love trolls. Also, if you're wondering what are these ear pads on the SteelSeries Arctis, we make these ear pads and if you want to try them out, we are going to give away a coupon at the end of this video. So let's get on to the video. All right, so I'm going to start by showing you the buttons and the sliders that you have on the Arctis 5. So let me move you to the tabletop and I'll show you what you got on this new headset. Okay, so to start with, everything is located on the left side ear cup of the Arctis 5. We'll start with the mic. It's a retractable mic. Whenever it retracts, you wanna be talking to this side. Don't be talking to that side, only be talking to this one. Now, whenever you mute the mic, you have a mute button right here. And when that mute button is up, that mic is also going to turn red. You will have an LED light right here that turns red whenever it's muted. So just remember that. And then you have your volume slider, you have your aux cord input, and you also have your proprietary cable that this way you connect it through the USB to your computer. And that is pretty much it. Now, it also comes with the chat mix which you can choose between chat to game audio and the chat mix connects into this proprietary cable by steer series that then connects into your headphones and that's it okay so now i'm going to show you how to set up your headset and adjust the rgb setting for that you will need to download the steel series engine 3 software we linked it in the description down below so stop the video right now go download it and come back Okay, so once you install the Engine 3 software, connect your headphones via the chat mix and with the chat mix into the USB port on your computer. Open SteelSeries Engine 3 and you'll see that it immediately recognizes the Arctis 5. By the way, if you need to update them, the update will show up right here. Mine did not need to update, but if it does, you just click on it and it starts updating them. So simply click on it and open the configuration. Uh, as a default, it's going to be off on the 7.1 surround sound, but once you turn it on, you have a bunch of stuff that you can play around with. I do not use equalizer. Um, this is pre-made. Uh, as soon as you go with the, um, with the surround profile and you start changing it up, you have some preset options. I use studio. I do use a little bit of bass enhancement uh, if I'm playing first person shooter games because you're going to hear the steps and the shooting sounds much better with a little bit more bass. You have stereo profile dialogue enhancement which is in game dialogue. It's not the actual chat dialogue. Um, you have dynamic range compression. I'm not a big fan of these kind of stuff and I'm, I don't know how to mess around with these. I don't want to ruin too much. So. If you do know, you have the option to play around with it. For the microphone settings, I play on mic volume all the way up. I put noise reduction medium. For mic side tone, mic side tone is basically when you talk, you're going to hear yourself talk inside the headphones. I keep it as off because I find it very, very annoying. And let me move on to the coolest features about these headphones, which is the RGB settings. So. You can actually have different RGB settings for the right and the left side. Um, and let me show you, you have three modes that you can choose from. The first mode is steady. Basically self-explanatory, you choose a color and it stays at that color all the time. Let me show you how it looks. The second mode is color shift. You get to choose uh, between several colors basically you can add I, I did not try to see how many colors you can add but I just click and it adds multiple colors there doesn't seem to be any limitation and then you choose the color shift speed which is how fast it will move from color to color 
and that basically when you choose all of these colors it will start moving from one color to another and it will never turn off so it will continuously move between the colors and my personal favorite which is multicolor breath is you choose up to four colors and then you can choose uh, the percentage basically if uh, if seven second is a hundred percent you choose the percentage of what color will start at what point of time and you can also enhance and decrease the speed that it will take but basically in this uh, case right here it will start with purple and then it will turn off and then it will move to green turn off move to blue turn off move to red turn off that's my personal favorite I'll show you how it looks And that is it for the modes. You obviously have a mode disable illumination, uh, but if you got the Arctis 5, you probably got it because you like RGB. So there is no point of using that. Um, and again, as I said, you can have different modes for the left, different colors for the left, and then a different mode with a different color for the right, which I find really, really cool. And that is it. By the way, once you finish configurating this and you click save, if it's the RGB that you configured and the sound, whatever you saved, when you move on to your console, in my case it's a PS4, I am not sure about the Xbox because I do not have an Xbox, it saves it automatically. So once you click save, the same RGB settings and the same sound will apply to your console. By the way, if for the entire video you've been asking yourself where the hell did he get those sexy red camo ear pads? Well, I did tell you in the beginning, we make these ear pads and I did promise you a coupon. So if you wanna grab that coupon, you have a link in the description below or simply click at the top right corner right now, go try it out and let us know what you think. Also, if you're wondering how do you actually replace these ear pads, we made a video just for that and we linked it in the description below, so go watch it right now. And that is it for today's video. I really, really hope that it was helpful. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every month. Now go out there and enjoy your SteelSeries Arctis 5.